Augustan, his only loss of the year, is certainly fresh in the minds of the Vikings. But this is not about revenge. It's about the number one thing, being number one in the conference. So they hope to return the favor to the Elmhurst Blue Jays. A crowd of 2,300 plus settles in, but doesn't settle down in this high scoring, high intensity contest. Down four early, Augie's Juwan Strotter starts his team's engine with a triple. Later, Strotter forces the action over to Ben Ryan as the Vikings take a one point lead. Augie's offense continues to click. Wonderful ball movement out to Ryan. Vikings shoot 54% on the night. Brandon Motzel goes high percentage for two of his 14. Vikings up 23-16. Ryan continues to attack the rim. Off glass to keep Augie in control. He leads Augustana with 18. The Blue Jays aren't going anywhere. Bryant Ackerman drains the three. It's just 27-25. Vikings on the move. Griffin pills with a dose of sharing the ball to Tavian Johnson. That's two of his 14. Four for four from the field, six for six from the stripe. Elmhurst still hanging around. Will Nixon with the offensive glass back within two. Ackerman with three more of his 19 to lead all scores. The shootout continues late in the half. Augie's Hunter Hill, the triple. He scores 14, and the Vikes are up 45-42. But Eric Leonard counters with three of his 16 off the bench, 47 all at the half. Just as fast and furious in the second half. Strotter flushes in two of his 16 to get the crowd pumped up. Hill goes right at Elmhurst for two more off the glass, 56-51 Vikings. But the Blue Jays keep scrapping. Ackerman's three ball puts his team back within a possession. But Strotter is at it again. Splashes in the three-pointer as Augie is taking ownership. Hill kicks it out to Motzel for the long two, and the Vikings are feeling it. Pills has the right medicine again. The assist to Ryan, who scores and draws the foul, extending the lead 80 to 69 for the home team. Augie with clock management. He working it down. It's Pills firing in two as 11. All five starters hit for double figures. And Ryan puts the lead up to 15 as the Vikings win 97 to 84. The move to 18 and one overall, seven and one in the CCIW, tied with North Central. Now Elmhurst has the best team they've ever had since I've been here. The top five team in the country and to come uh, you know, out and play as well as we did in a tremendous atmosphere uh, and get the win is, is really gratifying. What about kind of the ebb and flow of this game? You guys took advantage of about a three or four uh, minute time span where you, you knocked off 13 or 14. Yeah, it was just kind of two heavyweights going back and forth. And every time we'd make a big play, they'd answer. And then uh, I thought Juwan Strotter really exploded out of the gate. We got a breakaway dunk, and I think we went up four, and I think the crowd and our, our team really fed off that, and we went on a 13-0 run. Applied a lot of pressure in the second half, too, in the full court. Yeah, our defense was outstanding. They scored a lot of points, but they're a tremendous offensive team. I thought we did a good job defensively, and, you know, I loved our offense, and our transition game was, was outstanding. What do you love about games like these, too, when you're trying to grow a team and to, to, to be its best at the right time of the year? Well, you know, you want to play great teams. Our schedule, I think, is the third or fourth best in the nation, and, you know, playing against the top five team, I mean, that's what you're looking at if you want to make a postseason run, so this is a great experience for us. What do you tell them coming out of this one? Well, get ready for Saturday. we got a, a terrific North Park team coming in here. Conference play, you look around the country at every level, there's upsets every night, and you got to protect that home court, and that's what we're going to try to do Saturday. We talked about finishing and um, halftime. We talked about finishing rebounds, defensive plays, and offensively, too, because they out us, us, had more rebounds in the first half, and we just came out because we got, we got the buckets we wanted to on offense. It was more about getting defensive stops and finishing, and that's what we came to do the second half, and we attacked them and got them in a lot of foul trouble. Obviously, this was a key game for uh, for the conference. Too. Yeah, it's a big game. This is this is the take first place here, and um, right now we got it in our hands. We just got to keep going and um, not look back. Tell me about that too. That uh, you know you, you finish strong tonight, but you start strong the next game too. Uh, we gonna come back. We know North Park gonna bring it. We took an L to them at home last year, so they always bring it and give the the good teams very tough time. So we know we got to bring it, and they got some great players. So we got to lock in tomorrow Friday to get it going. How much do you love playing a team? like this, uh, you know, because you're going 
good stretch too in great ways to make yourselves better. Right. Uh, it was great. Like they brought their fans as well. We know it's going to be exciting. And it's always good to play somebody just the same competition as you. And it was great to go out there and compete and beat them. Um, we felt like we were able to get them uh, out of their sets, uh, take some things away. Uh, Juwan did a great job on uh, number 20 at least. So uh, that was getting him, uh, uh, taking him away and his scoring ability was great for us. The full court pressure, uh, that, you know, that had him uh, you know, reeling and it got you guys to the line a little bit too. I mean, uh, that's that's where part of this game was won. Yeah, it was. Uh, getting them to uh, speed up a little bit and uh, once they got in their half court uh, with 20 seconds on the shot clock, it's uh, tough to start running your stuff then. Obviously a pivotal win for you guys too. What do you take uh, celebration-wise tonight and uh, as you move on? Too? Oh yeah, it's uh, it's great. Uh, we'll enjoy it tonight and then tomorrow we'll uh, start working for uh, North Park. How much value is there in games like this when you know you're going to get pushed and uh, you know you're playing against a, another great team in the, that's right in the country? Oh, it's great. Uh, we we want to be uh, playing against the, the best competition in the country, especially uh, going late into the season and uh, riding this into uh, the postseason too.